Okay, so let's do some more example problems, right? We're looking for ones that are either congruent, corresponding, vertical, alternate interior, alternate exterior. And if they're none of those, then they're supplementary. They're adding to 180. So it's either going to be setting equal to each other or setting, adding them and setting equal to 180. Okay, so let's look here. All right, so let's start by figuring out what it is. Are these two marked angles here vertical? No, vertical angles are opposite each other. <coughs> Excuse me. So, are they corresponding? Well, 3x plus 7 is to the right and below. 10x plus 17 is to the right and above. Not corresponding. Are they alternate interior or exterior? Nope, because if we take our transversal right here, they would have to be on opposite sides, and they're not. So by process of elimination, they're going to add to 180. And again, this angle right here, if you look at it, it's corresponding angle to the right below, to the right below would be this one right here. Those two are congruent. So if this is 3x plus 7, these two right here form a straight line. Therefore, they add to 180. Now, you don't have to go through all that work, but that's the reason for it. So our equation in this one, they're not setting equal to each other. We're going to add them up. 3x plus 7 plus 10x plus 17 equals 180. Okay? Now you're going to simplify and solve this. Well, we do that by adding our like terms. So I'm going to start with my x terms. If I have 3x's and 10x's, I'm going to move it over here. This is going to be 13x's. If I have 7 plus 17, that is going to be equal to 24. And then we set that equal to 180. So if you can get through those first couple steps there, it's a pretty easy equation to solve. Okay, and if you need help with that, let me know. We're solving for our x term. We're going to get rid of the 24. So I'm going to subtract 24 from each side. I bring down my 13x equals, grab my calculator, 180 minus 24 is 156. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 13. 13 divided by 13 is 1x. 156 divided by 13 is 12. Okay, so my value of x is 12. Now my angle measures, okay? So I'm going to go 3. I shouldn't put that up there. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go 3 times 12 because I'm substituting 12 in for x plus 7. I'm typing that into a calculator. 3 times 12 plus 7, and I get 43. So one of the angle measures is 43. Now remember, they're not congruent. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to say... 10 times 12 plus 17. 10 times 12 plus 17 is 137. There we go. Let's move on to the next example. All right. Are these vertical? No. Are these corresponding? To the left above, to the right above. No. Are they on opposite sides of our transversal? No. Therefore, by process of elimination, they're supplementary. I'm going to add these two together to equal 180. So 11x, instead of saying minus 9, I'm going to say plus a negative 9, plus 7x, instead of minus x, plus a negative 9, equals 180. And I'm squeezing it in. I'm sorry. Let's simplify. If I have 11x's and 7x's, well, that is going to be 18x's plus negative 9 plus negative 9 is a negative 18 equals 180. Okay, solve the equation. And then whatever we do to one side, we do the other. So we have 18x that cancels equals 198. And then I divide both sides by 18. And see, how, again, with solving equations, how we do the same thing over and over. And we get 11, okay? And again, they're not congruent, so you have to plug this in. We need to go 11 times 11 minus 9, which is 112. And over here, I'm going to go 7 times 11 minus 9 and get 68. Notice, if you add these together, they get 180. That's what we wanted. All right, let's do another one. Are these two angles vertical, these two marked angles? No. Are they corresponding to the right below, to the right, or to the 
to the left below to the right above? No. But notice they do fall on opposite sides of the transversal, right? And they're on the inside. So they are alternate interior angles. That is one of our congruent ones. So we're going to set these two things equal to each other. And I'm going to write it kind of below here. I'm going to say negative 8x plus 8 equals negative 6x plus 20, just so I have some more room. All right, each side is simplified. So I'm going to choose to get rid of the negative 6x because we get, gather all our x terms up on one side. Whatever I do to one side, I do the other. That gives me a negative 2x plus 8 equals, these are 0, cancel 0, 20. Then we subtract 8 from each side. We get negative 2x, this is 0, equals 12. Divide both sides by a negative 2, has to be negative because negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. 12 divided by negative 2 is a negative 6. Do not panic when you see a negative sign because remember, this is the value of x. It's not the angle measure. We take this x now and plug it in here. So I'm going to go negative 8 times negative 6 plus 8. Negative 8 times negative 6 plus 8 is 56. Now, here's a hint, right? You can absolutely plug it in here and go negative 6 times negative 6, which is 36, plus 20, which is 56. But remember, these are congruent. They're equal to each other. So if one's 56, the other one has to be 2. I usually check both to make sure I didn't make a mistake, but know that you should get the same thing. Okay? Let's do three more. Okay, and the more you practice these angles, the easier it'll get to be to figure out what um, relationship you're using. Okay? So, vertical. Nope. Nope. Corresponding. Okay, so here's my parallel lines. Here's my transversal. Above to the left. Below. Nope. Okay? Now, they're on opposite sides of our transversal. So now when I th see that, I think maybe alternate interior, alternate exterior. Since they are outside the parallel lines, they're alternate exterior, which means they are equal to each other, congruent. That's one of our congruent ones, right? So I'm going to say 5x plus 6 has to equal 8x minus 39. Once that's done, we're solving equations the same way. Numbers change. The process does it. Oh, we can get rid of either x on either side, so I'm going to get rid of the 5x this time. Whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I do to the other, matching it up with its like terms. That's 0. I'm left with 6 equals 3x minus 39. Solving for x, I'm going to get rid of this minus 39. I do that by adding 39. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. 6 plus 39 is going to be 45 equals 3x. That's 0. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and the value of x is 15. Okay, so now let's plug it in. 5 times 15 plus 6, 81. But guess what? If this is 81, so is that one. 81 degrees, 81 degrees. Okay, a couple more here. All right, so not vertical above to the left, above to the left. Hey, corresponding. Guess what corresponding are? Equal to each other. So I'm going to write 15x plus negative 2 equals 11x plus 34. Okay. I'm going to choose to get rid of the 11x. You could get rid of the 15x if you want. Just whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. That holds the equal sign, right? If I have 15x's and I take away 11x's, that's 4. So I have 4x's plus a negative 2. This is 0 equals 34. It's a negative 2, so to get rid of it, I'm going to add 2. I have 4x. That gives me 0 equals 36. Divide both sides by 4. I know I'm going through this fast, so if you need some help with the solving equations, please come talk to me. Um, because I'm assuming this is something hopefully we're getting a little comfortable with. 36 divided by 4 is 9. All right, pick one of them. 11 times 9 plus 34. Just typing into my calculator. 133. They're congruent, so guess what? They're the same. If you did 15x times 9 minus 2, you get 133. One more. All right. This one is this angle right in here, right? So, vertical? No. 
Now, if you look here, these two angles right here are a straight line. So you might be able to look at this and see that it's supplementary right away, because that's a straight angle. But if you go through them, they're not corresponding. They don't hold the same position. They're on opposite sides of the transversal, but they're not on outside of either parallel line, okay? So really, this has to be um, supplementary. It's a straight angle. So I am going to say negative 5x plus 32 plus negative 20 So we can see the negative, negative 20x plus 48 equals 180. Combining like terms, if I have a negative 5x's and a negative 20x's, that's a negative 25x's. 32 plus a negative, I'm sorry, plus 48. 32 plus 48 is 80 equals 180. So we're going to subtract 80 from each side. We get negative 25x equals 100, and we divide both sides by negative 25. And we get a negative 4. 100 divided by negative 25 is a negative 4. So plug it in. This one we have to plug it into both. Negative 5 times negative 4 plus 32. Negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 32 is 52. And since these are not congruent, we have to do both. Negative 20 times negative 4. Negative times a negative is going to be positive, plus 48. So if I type that into my calculator, I get 128. Okay. I hope you saw we did a lot of the same thing for all of these. Once you make that choice, whether the two angles are congruent, set them equal to each other, or they're supplementary, add them together to equal 180, the solving equation part, follow the same rules and procedures that we've been doing.